Bam. Okay, I lost some on Banjo Kazooie. We got several jiggies, and now we're gonna go inside of Mumbo's house and see what's in there. Anyway, here we have Mumbo. He's the best shaman in the game and can help us. And is a hot boy. They're hidden by the witch. Shame, whatever. Thinking of the Pokemon. And anyway, we have a few notes, and up here there's eggs. And in all of Mumbo's houses, there's stuff up here, so it's always worth looking around. Stuff! Anyway, back outside here we have totem pole thingy, which I can't do anything with, so... Juju, so I'll just ignore the Mr. Juju. And, would you look at this, another Jiggy! <laughs> I know, right? That's sweet. It happens, man. I'd eat it. They're gold and shiny looking. And I have eyes when I talk to you. Anyway, continue the note collection. And with that, I think the set the level's almost done. What the? Okay, I don't know what that little thing that popped up was. I think it was sticky keys, because I'm like using shift for one of the camera buttons, and I don't know if I disabled it on K's computer. Yeah, it's sticky keys. I'll have to disable that later. Oh, dang it. Well, this is annoying to have the camera on the button. On. Yeah, for my setup, I'm using the keyboard, and I have like the A, D, S, W for the control pad. Oh, come on! How do you turn it off? I like did it a long time ago on my computer, but I don't remember how. Um, well. Okay, um, sticky keys. <laughs> I'm sorry about doing this in here. I'm pressing one at a time. Go to ease of access center to disable the shortcut. I'm sorry, I feel like including this because it's evil. Um, set up stick keys off. Um, uh, I think that will do. So, no sticky keys now. Ease of access center. What the? Make your computer it's talking to me. To use. You can use Quiet. Okay. Sticky keys is disabled now. Yes, okay. Sorry. That's gone now. Okay. With that out of the way, we're back over here. And look at this, Katie. It's a giant monkey. Wanna know what we're gonna do with him? We're gonna make him throw oranges at us. Oops, he missed. It's like an infinite supply of oranges. And because we were clever, we got his gold, and guess what now? We're gonna steal from him and get hurt from his leg. And we have yet another Jiggy. And look at the orange's eyes. If you saw it even, Katie. I know, right? You should move a little closer to the mic, Katie. And now we have another monkey, and you should move. It was like near impossible to hear you in the last recording. Except in some types. Someone thought you said you liked, um, whacking wood. <laughs> Don't ask, you said something about wood and then whacking and then they put it together and, uh, yeah. So that was funny. Anyway, we have the ability to shoot and poop out eggs now. Or lay eggs, I'd call it poop, because it's funny. Hilarious. Um, yeah, he basically gives you 50 eggs. I'm gonna skip the text of being bored. Um, he'll fill my health. And he says that we've learned all the moves in the level. Anyway, with that out of the way, we have our final Mumbo token. So now we can have fun with that. And we have this switch of Grunty's HUD. Let's pound it and see what happens. Magic! Another Jiggy. The switch will rhyme. The switch doesn't even talk. Oh, I just failed. She just talks randomly, like... Um, oh gosh, this should be fun with the keyboard. Um, can't aim like that. 
Um, let's see, so you'd press that button combination. Oh gosh. This is gonna be beautiful, I can tell. Go! Yeah. This is what I was thinking. Come on. Okay. And just like that, he's been beat, so he'll give us another Jiggy. Jiggies are just flying out of the sky in this level. I don't even remember if I collected them all, because there's been so many. How many do I have even? Seven. Okay, so... I think that's right. There should be another one appearing in just a second, because of collecting and collectible, if you want to call it that. And somewhere around here. Um, there we have him. The final Jinja of the level. Mr. Yellow. And... And now we have yet another. Oh gosh. And just probably gonna slide in a second. Go, 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 go. Oh. Go, go. I think you can sometimes recover from sliding if you ground pound, but that was completely an accident. Anyway, sorry about that. Are you getting destroyed in Far Farmville, Katie? Oh, cousins. Almost got all the notes. Anyway, um, I think there's only a few things left to do in the stage, so let's go do that. Yeah, I'm gonna have enough time to complete the stage and probably get to the next level. This is a pretty fast game, and uh, someone asked in the comments if there's gonna be many glitches in this run. There's gonna be like barely any. I'm gonna show what little ones there are, but there aren't that many in this game, so we'll just do them when they're there. It's not glitch heavy like Mario or Ocarina of Time. Anyway, on top of here we have an Ecom piece. And let's shoot this. Yay, got it on my first try. And we have yet another Jiggy. There's crazy. And just one more in this level since there's 10 per stage. So now we go talk to Mumbo. And he's asleep again. Kinda like Ban how Banjo was. Ah, Banjo has plenty of tokens, whatever. Anyway, you stand down here, you press B, and magic happens. What do you think I'll become, Katie? What do you think I'll become? <gasps> yeah, and termite, whatever. And he tells you that you're free to change back. I'll skip that. I decided I might not be skipping text, but I do it. Yeah, it is a termite. I always called it an when I was young. Termite and orange fruit, what? <laughs> it was worth a try. Oh yeah, and if you walk up to the termites while you're a little one, they comment and it's interesting. Where'd you get those shorts? I want some. And anyway, while you're a termite, you're a, you can climb up slopes without any slope, basically without falling, which is pretty cool. So you can climb up to here and collect our last notes in the level. And with collecting them, we get a one-up, which serves no real purpose. Oh yeah, speaking of 1-ups, I'm gonna try to go through this game without dying, and if I do, then whatever. And I'm also gonna be trying to avoid honeycomb pieces. Well, not pieces, but honeycomb health. If I lose health, I'm gonna try to not restore it, except if Bottles does it because he's a jerk. So, I'm gonna try to avoid those. And just get extra health, just for the sake of completion. And with that, we've completed the level, and since we're in the termite form, we get to miss a little dance banjo, and it does. So, with that, the level's complete. Nothing more to do here, except hope that enemy. Sadly, we can't do anything to the enemy level in this form. Why are you chasing bugs? That guy is chasing a bug. Okay. Remember that Jiggy that appeared? It's on top of here, and I don't care what he's saying. Um, there's a way to get up here if you, like, stand here with Banjo and then do some weird sequence of jumps. I do not know how to do it. I've seen it in Sammy's Tool Assisted Run, and I've wanted to try it, but I never have. Oh yeah, and once you get too far away from a level, um, you turn back into Banjo and Kazooie. It's a nice little trick if you want to not go back to Ban to Mumbo's if you want to transform back. So then, now that we have the tunnel trot and the level complete, we can walk up here. And up here we have a molehill. Oh gosh, I talked to it. Oh, I like to try to avoid talking to this. Uh, I'm just gonna skip all this text right here. <laughs> There's no point to it. And here's the victory dance. 
so he makes mist. It's nothing too impressive. Anyway. Grunty gives us some little line. rhymes. Pass and last. They rhymed. And I'll activate all of these for completionist sake. And we got another Mumbo token. Okay, now that that's done, let's go to... Oh gosh. These things are interesting creatures, wouldn't you say? They're like Klungo's brothers, but better. And here we have the second puzzle, which looks a lot more complicated than the first. I'm gonna just ignore him. I think he was telling me I could take pieces out by pressing B or something. Well, there's no real purpose in doing that, so whatever. Okay, we've done all we can do now in here, because I can't get to there yet, unless there's a trick that I've never seen. Okay, I thought I disabled uh, MSN. Uh, um, status. I thought I turned it off. I did. So many problems, I love this. <laughs> anyway, in here we have this pipe, which I'll just go in for now. We still have time, so I'll get into the next level, which is a fun level. And we have more of these guys that go rawr. And another one of these. You've activated a magic cauldron. That's like my favorite magic cauldron because I used it a lot, I remember, because it worked to like further to a further place in the game, and up here we have the golden feather, which I can't use. Ouch. Lucky you. Oh yeah, speaking of bottles. Oh, Katie. The, speaking of the mole hills, imagine Clanker's Cavern. How does he get the mole hill in there? Cuz it's inside of Clanker. Think about it. <laughs> it's worth it though. That's like the perfect example. The other one would maybe be like snow area, like how does he dig through snow, but it's not as questionable. Anyway, and here we have another level, so let's start. I'm gonna have to save state randomly in the middle of this, since I won't be able to complete this in like three minutes. Anyway, we have treasure trove, treasure trove, treasure trove. Well, I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry if I fail at speaking. It's just something about me. And we have Snacker, the giant shark. And there's. A crab, which I killed. Oh, uh, let's first the mini boss in this level. Crabbykins. Um, I'm gonna try to mess with them. Behind them, there's a mumbo token, and Snacker's getting mad at me. So let's collect that. Uh, let's see if I can get on top of them. I think you can. Okay, and it's ground pound. Well. Uh, attack! Well, <laughs> that kind of foiled my plan. Anyway, just poke his eyes. Kind of missed some humorous text with Kazooie and him fighting, but it's nothing too interesting. And with three hits, like at most things, he's dead. So, now we get to raid his shell. And basically there's a Jiggy, of course, in here, as well as some notes. So, look at them. And there's another thing in here, two crab buddies. Oh gosh, I just said I'm gonna try to avoid dying, and I'm already dying. Well, at least I'm gonna get two moves, so those will be the few things that will actually refill my health. So, whatever, I probably won't die. Be sad if I did, because I usually... Most playthroughs I can avoid getting a single death in this game. And how goes Frontierville or Farmville or something, Katie? You hate trees, who doesn't? Oh, I know a fun place to end. Um, you see the island over there? That's usually in the water. Anyway, in a secondary file, I entered all these codes in, which you'll be seeing in the next segment in this little underwater place. And they enable you to, to open up these stop and swap places. Um, oh gosh, can I even get here without dying? Um, let me go up here. And here are some red feathers, which I have not 
gained access to yet. Let's go. Come on, don't die from the shark. Swim, swim. Oh gosh, she's in front of me. I better not die. Come on. Get to the island. Go around. Okay, trapped him. Okay. Anyway, in, in here we have a little bonus area, which you get a little victory music for. Oh gosh, and... Here we... <laughs> I totally forgot about this! You need to have a move to even get up there. Um, this is awkward. <laughs> Let me at least get to shore before stopping. <laughs> um... Well... <laughs> foiled again? I think so. And it's lagging. And Katie's fans on now. So, let me just try to beat the Snacker to the shore. He's pretty easy to beat to the shore, and if you don't, you only take one damage usually. Um, anyway... Abrupt ending. Next time, I guess we'll get some moves, explore the pirate ship that you haven't seen, and do some stuff with there. So, see you next time.